The Misadventures of Merlin Jones is pretty good fun. This was released in 1964. It's directed by Robert Stevenson. It's a Disney film. It's written by Bill Walsh, Alfred Lewis Levitt and Helen Levitt. And it stars Tommy Kirk as our protagonist, Merlin. And Merlin is experimenting with a helmet that measures brain activity. And he kind of accidentally creates a way to read people's minds, to hear what people are thinking which is a really great concept. I think they really made great use of that in this film. I had a lot of fun with that part of it. And he overhears the judge plotting a crime. But of course, who's going to believe him? He has no evidence other than he heard the judge's thoughts. And the film is about him trying to convince people of what he heard and ultimately trying to prevent this from happening. And it's, it's really great. Sometimes it's a little bit slow. For example, there's a scene in the library, which I loved to begin with, where he's sitting in the library and he can hear different people's thoughts. And I think it's really believable, the kind of things people were thinking of. And we have these snapshots of their different perspectives. It's, it, it goes really well. But it kind of went on a little bit too long. So the pacing, in parts isn't great. For the most part, the overarching narrative, I think it develops really well. We get to the point pretty quickly, but there are scenes here and there that I think could have been quickened up a little bit. A lot of the film is also him convincing different people that he can read their minds. And if somebody were to argue that that became repetitive, I'd understand. But at the same time, I kind of liked it. I liked seeing different people's responses when he started to convince them that he could read their minds. So I actually had a lot of fun with that part of it, but I will admit that, yes, it did become a bit repetitive, but I didn't mind. I really enjoyed it as a whole. It's a really fun narrative. I'm not that bothered about films that deal with people planning crimes or plotting crimes, that kind of thing I'm not that bothered about. But I still really enjoyed that part of it and I thought it worked really well. Merlin is a really likeable character. It's a really good film. The pacing is really good as a whole, apart from a few moments here and there. And I did. I had a lot of fun watching the reactions uh, of different characters whenever he would, when Merlin would try to show them that he could read their mind. Definitely a, a fun film, one that I really enjoyed. And if you haven't seen it and you're a fan of Disney or you're just looking for a a fun film that's maybe not completely predictable, it definitely takes some directions I hadn't expected, then The Misadventures of Merlin Jones is a good one to go with. <laughs>